This is me on uh, Black Life Matters and uh, me becoming a police officer and a recruit. Um, I understand the issue with Black Life Matters and the uh, police officers that the police would uh, go and shoot unarmed black men for, uh, I guess, just being black, I guess, was, this, was this the word or the saying. Me as a neighbor, we've been attacked by many Africans. Uh, for no reason at all for no reason just for being hispanic uh so from, from, from that my experience as a neighbor from that uh, me, uh many african neighbors where we had to move several times they uh lets me know that they're guilty that you know they probably uh you know done something to the cops said something or uh or reach for something you know while while you know came while you know they provoked the, the the officers training and um and their their their, their mentality and you know they, they fucked with their, their their head their psyche and stuff while uh while policing the people so that lets me know that uh that the police are innocent and the and the, the blacks are guilty in the over in the altercation uh not to say that there is racism and there are bad, dirty cops. And let's just say, you know, there were bad, dirty cop out there where, you know, they would they don't like Africans, so they just gun them down. Well, yeah, that's highly unlikely because, you know, they're trained better than that. They're, they're, they're more moral than that. They're raised and they're brought up better than that. And uh, I met plenty of cops throughout my life and never, I mean, I'm not an African-American man. I wouldn't know the difference. But I know it ain't too different, you know, uh, with the standards and the way we live our lives that, you know, it, it is just like anything else. And uh, so, you know, most people do tend to love their dogs no matter what color or what breed of dog it is. And you're accepted for who you are in this life and this society. So, you know, you tend to be loved and cared for no matter what type of dog or what color your dog or what breed of dog you are in society. So, uh, besides that... As a cop, you know, these people got a fear that uh, they're, they're my neighbors and they attack us, you know, and they, they, they mistreat us and they psychologically and emotionally abuse us. They got a fear that, you know, I'm going to become a cop and I'm going to uh, take advantage of them, that I'm going to be uh, mis murdering them or mistreating them or violating them. I have no attention to them, you know. I forgive. I turn the other cheek. I love that neighbor. And what I'm out here doing is just doing my job as a police officer. If you're a criminal and a convicted felon and you're, you're out here violating people's rights, I am going to lock you up and I am going to incarcerate you. I'm going to do my job to the best of my uh, fulfillment and duties to do what I can to defend myself and defend my life. And if you're trying to take my life and point a gun or, or a knife at me, I'm going to shoot you and I'm going to gun you down. So that's simply put as a recruit or a cop, you know, entering the force. But, you know, if you have no gun and you have no knife on you and you're not going to try to shoot me or stab me, then we can work things out. And then, well, maybe I'll get, give you a slap on the wrist and you can go about your way, you know. And, then, you know, I'm going to do my job to the best of my training. I, I'm a detective. I will solve murders, you know, on the African community and make sure that their killers are locked up and incarcerated. But pretty much... Uh, from 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 my understanding, they're the guilty ones in the Black Lives Matters causes, where you know they violated and mistreated me and my family as well as neighbors. They they show no innocence. They show nothing but guilt through it all. Uh, they're just you know trying to influence you know uh, I guess you know police police to be overthrown and and you know to overtake the government and the country and to run and regulate your own government and some country for yourself. I don't sit and stand well by that. I'd rather have a government where, you know, where the white man knows what he's doing. And he, uh, he knows how to police the people very well. He knows how to look after and care for the people very well. At the end of the day, it's just a minority. And minorities tend to get hung in society. And that's just another, that's just another, you know, a minority getting hung in society. And it's just, you know, that's just the way the, the cookie crumbles sometimes, you know. And not to lack, you know, or remorse or uh, sympathy for those people. But that's just how any society is formed in America, and a minority does get hung, and that's the ugly truth of America and Americans. And wherever you're at, and wherever you're at in America, a minority is going to get hung. Just like anywhere else around the world in society.